Hey, I'm Matt Sawyer with Tech Radar, and this crazy contraption behind me is the ZTE Gigabit Phone. And yes, it's not actually a phone, it doesn't run iOS or Android that we're familiar with, but what it does do, or what it's supposed to prove, is that 5G connections are possible with 5G speeds up to one gigabit per second. It's supposed to make your phone's download speeds incredibly fast, 10 times faster than they currently are, and you're not going to even need to see a loading bar anymore on your phone. So how it's going to be able to achieve these speeds are three carrier aggregation, four by four MIMO, and 256 QAM modulation. Really what it's going to do to achieve these futuristic 5G speeds is you know, something like three carrier aggregation where you're not just going to subscribe to one smartphone carrier. You know, you'll have a combination of multiple carriers. So yes, you can get those speeds that you, you've dreamed of and, and get rid of those loading bars because you know, it's harnessing all the power out there of all the carriers in your area without having just to rely on one carrier and one signal. So what we can't see is what is inside. And that includes the latest Snapdragon 835 processor. It's one of the first phones to be demonstrated using that processor and also the X16 LTE modem. That's the fastest modem that you can get on a smartphone. And while we don't have a release date for this proof of concept and it's not really a phone that you're going to be able to buy in this current iteration, that's what makes us really exciting. It's something that we won't see for maybe a year, maybe two years from now, but it's definitely the future and you know that's what Mobile Congress is all about. So if you found this video informative, give us a like, subscribe for even more Mobile World Congress videos and keep it locked to Tech Radar for more news and reviews about technology.